Hi, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 5.4, which is solving proportions. Yesterday we learned how to write them, so today we're going to learn how to solve them. You are going to be writing down eight things in your notes today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to write down are the steps for solving proportions. The first thing you're going to do is cross multiply. The second thing you're going to do is divide to isolate the variable. The last step will just be to solve, so just make sure that your variable is isolated and you have solved for x or whatever the letter is. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video right now if you haven't had a chance to write down the three steps. Once you're done, click play. So this one is, I'm going to just follow the three steps. Remember, the first step is to cross multiply. So I'm going to be doing 5 times 21 and 7 times x. Remember when we talked about um, how knowing if something is proportional or not, their cross products will be equal to one another. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. 5 times 21 is 105, and 7 times x is 7x. That would be my first step. My next step would be divide to, di to, divide to isolate the variable. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7. So that x is equal to whatever 105 divided by 7 is. When I divide 105 by 7, I get 15. So x is equal to 15. You're going to go ahead and try these two on your own. So let's go ahead and take time now to pause the video, try them, and then click play to check. Alright, the first thing we're going to do here is cross multiply. So 9 times w and 6 times 6. 9 times w is 9w and 6 times 6 is 36. Then I'm going to divide both sides to isolate the variable. So whatever the variable is attached to essentially w is equal to 4. For number 3, again cross multiplying 10 times a and 12 times 15. 10 times a is 10a and 12 times 15 is 180 and then I'm going to divide both sides to isolate the variable a is equal to 18. How would you do? Here are a few more you're going to try. Again, let's go ahead and pause, try them, and then click play. Be careful on number 6. Okay, so here we go. 2, we've got 2 times 28, and 7 times x. Seven times x is seven x, and two times twenty-eight is oops fifty-six. Divide both sides by seven. X is equal to eight. For number five, cross multiplying here, twelve times y A is equal to five times six. Twelve times y is twelve y, and five times six is thirty. Dividing both sides by twelve, I believe. You should get what y is equal to 2.5. Yep. The last one is tricky, so you do need to make sure you pay close attention here. Okay, you're still cross multiplying. So 15 times z plus 1 and 40 times 6. Notice what I did here. The 15 is multiplying by the z and the 1. So that's 15z. Again, we're just doing distributive property here. Plus 15 is equal to 40 times 6, which is 240. 15 times z, 15 times 1. Then you're going to use your two-step um, solving to get z by itself. So I'm going to be doing 240 minus 15. That would be 15z is equal to 225. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 15. 225 divided by 15 is actually 15, so z is equal to 15. How did we do in number 6? That one was tricky, so if you need to pause it again to write down the correct way to do it, you can. Here's another one you're going to try. So it says the graph shows the toll y due on a turnpike for driving x miles. Your toll is $7.50. How many kilometers did you drive? This one is pretty easy because... Um, you can already see that point on the graph. Remember, x is always the first number, and y is always the second one. And so this point, 100, comma 7.5, is 100 miles and 7.5 dollars, which is $7.50. So you did drive 100 miles. 
if you weren't sure, you could use another point on the graph, like 200 miles over $15 is equal to x miles over $7.5 because you don't know the mileage. And then cross multiply, 15x is equal to whatever 200 times 7.5 is, 1,500. And then when you divide, you still get 100. Okay, so that's just another way you could do it. The last one we're going to do is looking at a table. So you're going to pause the video, set it up as a proportion, and solve, and then click play to check. Okay, so you should have set it up like this. Three bracelets over 48 inches is equal to X bracelets over 80 inches. Basically, you're setting it up like it's set up in the table. We're going to cross multiply 3 times 80 and 48 times x, that's 240, is equal to 48x, and then we're just going to essentially divide 240 and 48, so x is equal to 5. So you can have 5 bracelets with 80 inches of yarn, or twine. Okay, that's going to conclude our video today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you have all eight things written down in your notes, and we'll see you next time.